Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> so what we're doing today is a 35 minute power leg day. So we're just gonna get those legs and we're gonna actually have some explosion and some power. So I have some times where I'm gonna be heavier, strong weights, and other times we are going to explode up and really give some power behind that. So I have my 20 and my 25 pound dumbbells for those stronger times. And then we're gonna just do some explosion with just some body weight. So don't forget a sweat towel, a drink, and your great attitude. <laughs> Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully I had a chance to grab your weight, your sweat towel, and your great attitude. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's start with a couple of step jacks. Get your arms all the way up there. Now get that whole body moving because we need that all that for that explosion power. We've got two more. The last one. And then we're going to go into just some pulling those legs back, really kicking that butt so you get that quad a little bit stretched out and ready to rock and roll. Two more. Last one. And we're gonna go squat down and reach up. Down and up. Nice good squat and up. We've got two more. Last one. And then right here, let's rotate that trunk so it's moving nicely. Oh yeah, two more. Last one, and let's windmill down so we're hinging at that hip. Starting to glide those hamstrings. So wake up and let's rock and roll today. Two more. Last one. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna go right here into lunge and then straighten that knee. Into lunge and then touch down and straighten that knee. <sighs> glide up and then glide down. Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna hold down there, and we're gonna rotate over that knee, and then drive that elbow in. Rotate over that knee, and get a nice, good rotation. And this is opening up that hip. Last one, rotate up, and drive, and then we're gonna go right here in the middle. Let's get that inner thigh moving. Oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Keep it up. Two more. Last one. Oh yeah. And then we're going right to the other side. So we're lunging up, and then we're touching down to straighten that knee. Lunging up, and then straighten that knee. So you're just gliding those arms all the way up in that kind of that warrior. And then you're touching down and giving me that nice, good hamstring stretch. Two more. Last one. And then right here, we're gonna drop down and rotate over that knee again, and then drive that elbow in. Oh, nice trunk rotation. Opening up that hip. Two more. The last one, and then we're gonna go into quadruped, and we're just gonna activate those glutes. We're gonna keep that foot flex, that knee bent. I'm gonna lift up towards that ceiling so we really activate that glute. Ooh, that feels good. Two more. The last one, and we're going right out to the side. Really squeeze that glute. Activate and say, baby, you gotta get working. <laughs> last one, and we're going to the other side. Lift him back up. Drive that heel up and squeeze that glute. Last one. And now we're going out to the side. Two more. Last one. And we're gonna go right here into plank and pike. Get that hip driving. Start pushing down to those heels so you get those calves moving. Two more. The last one. Walk that on up. Right here, you're gonna hold that hand position. You're gonna rotate to the side and up and back down. Rotate to the other side and up. Oh, get that trunk. And those hamstrings, last one. Come on up and then we're just gonna do a hinge. We're gonna drive that back and then we're gonna drive it forward. So I'm hinging at the hip. Okay, so getting ready for those deadlifts. We do that nice good hinge. We're also gliding those hamstrings that way. Those get nice and tight on us, especially if we do much sitting. We've got two more. Last one. Oh yeah. And then let's do a couple of hip circles right here. And in the other direction. And then we've got the other side. Now we're gonna do one that's gonna be, we're gonna do a superset today, go the other direction. And we're going to be really looking at one that is going to be kind of that heavier slow down weight. One's gonna be an explosion. Just roll that ankle in both directions. And we're not gonna do any weight on that explosion side, okay? It's gonna just be that body weight. Okay, so for the first activity, we're gonna take that weight and we're gonna do our front squat. So we're gonna drive our hips back, sit down, 
I come up and then press that weight right up overhead. You're gonna drive that weight as you come up. So you're using those legs. You're sitting down and then you're pushing that up overhead. The other activity is we're gonna do a, a lateral hop or step and explode up. Now you can step down and explode or you can hop and hop. Okay, so we're gonna start with that front squat. Let's grab the weights. We're gonna put it right here. And here we go, three, two, one. Drive those hips back, sit down, come up, and explode that right up overhead. Sit down, and explode. Okay, so we're sitting back right over those heels. Press through those heels, come all the way up, and throw that weight right on overhead. You're using that momentum to drive that weight all the way up. You're exploding up, sitting down, and a push. Keep it up, come on. You got 15 more seconds. We're gonna work for 50 seconds. And we're gonna do two rounds. Okay, so 10 more seconds on this. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so we're doing a lateral hop or step. And we're exploding up so you can explode up onto your toes. Make sure you're coming back from your heels to your toes all the way up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step or hop. Step or hop or explode. So we're pushing over and we're exploding up. Over and explode. Keep it up. Nice big giant step or hop and exploding up. Like I said, we're getting some power in there. Okay, we're getting an explosion in those legs. 20 more seconds. Come on, you got this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, okay, back to those front squats and overhead push. Here we go. Woo, three, two, one. Sitting down and explode up. Okay, when you squat, you drive those hips back first. Sit right over those heels. And when you push up, make sure your knees are not coming together but they're pushing out just a little bit. Nice, solid form. Come on, drive it up there, let's go. Keep it up. 15 more seconds, hang in there. Here we go. Five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Okay, back to those lateral hops to that explosion. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, oh, sorry, here we go. Three, two, one. Stepping and hopping or exploding. Exploding at least up onto your toes. Back up, come on, give me some explosion. Maybe you can get one hop in there. Keep pushing yourself. Keep it up, come on, you got this. Halfway there. Oh yeah, wanna do some deadlifts next. Woo. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, the next activity. We're gonna do a nice good deadlift now. It's a little different than the squat. We're hinging at that hip. Back is neutral, drive hip down, and you drive that up. Now you're keeping that weight nice and solid against your legs. You can bend your knees, but you're hinging at the hip like there's a pole right here. Hinge down and driving, you're driving that hip forward. Coming down and pop. 
Now, as you pop, you're gonna explode so much up. You're going up onto those toes today. We're coming down and then a drive up onto those toes. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna do some split lunges right here. Now, if you don't wanna hop, you can step back as fast as you can. Grab those weights for the deadlift. Let's roll our shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hinge down, drive all the way up. Okay, give me a good solid drive up onto those toes. Really explode up. Give me some power. Hands right there at the hip. You shouldn't have any back pain. If you do, you need to drop that weight. Your core just isn't quite tight enough or strong enough, I should say. And that's okay. You gotta listen to your body. And you gotta make sure you really understand that form with a little bit of a lighter weight. But you're still working hard if you drop that weight. So you're exploding up. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you're either doing step back or you're lunge switching. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Split that baby. You wanna explode up? Okay, if you're not, see if you can step back. Maybe add a little bit of hop. Come on. Drive and explode. Drive and explode. Keep it up, halfway there. Oh yeah. Working that heart right now, huh? Exploding up, come on, you got 15 more seconds. Hang in there, you're doing great. And here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, back to those deadlifts with that exploding up onto the toes. Okay, so roll those shoulders back. Nice, good position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hinge down, drive up onto the toes. Oh, yeah. Squat down, I mean, hinge down, and drive all the way up. Keep it up, hinge and drive. Keep it up, come on, you're doing great. Hinging down, driving up. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, working that posterior chain. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to those split squats. You're either stepping back or you're hopping either direction. Explode, explode, explode. Let's go, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're racking. Drive and drive. Keep it up, come on, you got this. Driving and driving. We're gonna do a suitcase squat next. That means the weights are gonna be on the outside of our legs like we're getting ready to go on vacation. So kinda of think about that. Oh yeah. 15 more seconds. Hang in there. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. I love that word right now. Okay, suitcase squat. Same idea, we're gonna still squat down. The weight's gonna be on either side of us, and we're gonna pull it up. Now, I'm gonna go to the ground and back up. You may not be able to do that, that's okay. Go down to the range you can, but that outside weight, Changes the dynamics just a little bit. Working on that, so you might have to drop the weight a little bit. Whew, I'm catching my breath. Other way, and then we're gonna squat down and explode up. We'll squat down and explode up, okay? That's gonna be our 
Next activity, we're gonna start with a suitcase lift. Let's get in position. Roll your shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one. So drive those hips back, sit down and come back up. Now you're gonna be a little bit more narrow squat than you do because you got those suitcases on the outside. This is the time we do wide. A little bit maybe narrow the shoulder width. You're driving those hips back, sitting down, drive through those heels up. Sticking with good form, it's just a little different where we're carrying that weight. Try to keep that chest nice and upright. I want you going as low as you can. Push that range for me. We don't get stronger in range of motion unless we push that the whole way. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, I'm ready for vacation, right? Absolutely. Okay, slow squat down, explode up. Up onto those toes. Shift from those heels to those toes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sit back on those heels and then drive forward. So you're driving that hip forward, coming up onto those toes. Or all the way up into the hop. Sit back and explode up. So you're shifting from behind on those heels to forward on those toes. And explode up onto those toes or a hop. Keep it up. I'm really slowing down to get a nice good power move. I'm not as quick as sometimes. I really want some power explosion between that. 10 more seconds. And then we're back to the suitcase. Vacation life, three, two, one, rest. Woo. So, weights on either side. Roll those shoulders back. Drive back with those hips. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're sitting down and then drive it up. Still that weight's over that heel. Chest is upright. Okay, driving that weight on that back heel. Just be able to wiggle your toes the whole time. I've decided that I must not be flying on my vacation. So I have a suitcase in each hand. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for that many bags in my flight. <laughs> so I must have gone somewhere in the car. <laughs> Halfway there. <sighs> oh yeah. Keep it up, come on, sit down and drive. 15 more seconds. Come on, this is a harder one to make sure you're not collapsing those knees in. Sitting down and drive those hips and those knees out. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. We try different positions to strengthen. We're in different positions in our daily activities. We need to strengthen all of them. Okay, here we go. Slow squat down, explode up. Three, two, one. Sitting down and exploding up. Shifting back and driving up. Ooh, baby. Keep it up, let's go. 30 more seconds. Down and up. Sitting down, explode up. Halfway there, over halfway. Come on, let's go. Ten more seconds. Down and up. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, next activity is a single leg squat. I'm gonna have one weight. Now, you can put your foot up on the couch, or on a bench, or on a chair. You can set it behind you, or you can put it up on your weight. That front leg is gonna squat down with the weight right here. You're gonna go up overhead, squat down, push it out overhead. So you're gonna do the same leg. You're gonna move that weight one side to the next. So if you wanna grab a chair or your couch to put your foot up, you can do that. Just make sure you're far enough in front that when you sit down, your weight's right over that front heel. I'm gonna grab just one weight. Whew. I'm gonna put my foot up and we're gonna rock this. Here we go. 
three, two, one. So I sit down, push that weight all the way to the other side and rainbow it over and then back over. So one is gonna be weight on the same side, one's gonna be weight on the other side. Push it on and over. <sighs> drive it up. As you drive up, you push that weight right up over. Use that momentum, sit back over that heel, then drive it up. We'll do the other leg. Next round, of course. <sighs> Keep it up. Come on, you got 15 more seconds. Sitting down and up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop that weight. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a squat with a scissor. Squat with a scissors. Now, if you don't want to, you're gonna squat and step back and squat. Here we go. Three, two, one, down, and scissor. So explode up and scissor, explode up and step back quick. Keep that heart rate up there, moving those legs. Explode up and switch. Working some of that coordination too. Halfway there. Then we'll do the other leg. Come on, you got this. 15 more seconds. Are you like me? You sweating bullets, working hard. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Woo! Get all that sweat off me. Let's go the other side. Okay. Put that leg. Here we go. Woo! Three, two, one. We're sitting down. Explode up onto the other side. Whoop, I lost my balance on that one. It's definitely a balance challenge. Sitting down. Now, you may not be able to do any weight right now on that single leg, or you may have to just do like a one pound, a three pound, as you get better with that balance and that leg strength. I know it's that single leg, super hard. I recognize that. Drive it up and over. 15 more seconds. Come on. Drive through that heel and press up. Oh, baby. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those hops with the scissors. Whoo. Sweating bullets. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Explode and switch. Come on, down and switch. You got this, come on. Halfway there. Keep pushing. Let that sweat drop. You're doing good. You're burning those calories. Strengthening that leg, getting some explosion in there. We need those in our daily activities. I don't know about you, but I've had to run after my kid, run after a shopping cart, something. <laughs> Come on, 10 more seconds. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, okay. Next activity, we're gonna take a weight. We're gonna do a step back lunge and then drive it up into that knee okay so you're gonna explode up into a knee drive now you can put weights on either side you can do one weight if you want that's up to you but i want that knee explosion other activity we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down touch the floor and drive so we're gonna still do an explosion tap down push off and explode in that knee drive okay so same leg hold first round Woo, let's grab some weight. Oh yeah. I'm stepping back with my left leg first, right leg's working. Three, two, one. So sitting right over that front knee and then driving it forward. Right over that front heel, push through and drive. 
Press through and drive. A little bit of an explosion. Boom. Okay, a little bit of power behind it. Whew. May need to drop the weight a little bit to give yourself some power in that knee drive. Sit back and drive. You got this. Halfway there. We'll do the other leg next round. Oh yeah. And drive. Come on, 15 more seconds. Hang in there and power. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Drop those weights. And then we're gonna step out. I did my front foot there and I moved my left. Move my left now out to the side. Touch down and drive. Here we go. Three, two, one. So same leg is moving this whole time. Makes it easy to remember which side to do next. <laughs> Sit down, touch that floor, and drive it up. Can you use those arms if you need an explosion? You don't have to hop, but you gotta drive that up. Really sit down on that heel, push off. Okay, sit down and push off. Keep it up, halfway there. Keep it up, you're doing awesome. 15 more seconds. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now we gotta step back to the other side. You got this. Woo, I'm dripping sweat everywhere. Okay, roll those shoulders back. I'm stepping back with my right side. Three, two, one. Step back, front heel. Lean up and drive. Now you can put the weights on your shoulders like I do. You can put them right to the side of your body and hang them low. I have a harder time with my knee drive that way. I'm not as balanced. This gives me a little bit better explosion. So whatever works for you. You're coming down and driving. Halfway there. Yep. Not as balanced on this side. That's okay. Most of us have one side, we're better than the other. That's natural. Unless you're probably Simone Biles. She probably has both the sides. Awesome. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Now I'm gonna step out with that left right side, like I did with that lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step and down, touch the floor, and drive. We only have one more activity after this. One more super set. Oh yeah, we're starting to see that finish line. We're working hard today. It's a hard 35 minutes, I know. You're doing great though, stay till the end. Push through, push through. Give me that power, you're halfway through this. Sit down and push. Come on, you got this, 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Love that word. I am dripping sweat like there's no tomorrow. Okay, next activity. We're gonna take one weight, one dumbbell. We're gonna do a hinge, like a kettlebell swing with the dumbbell with one arm. We're gonna take it right between our legs, drive it up, put it right here, and then squat it up overhead. So it's a drive and a squat. A drive, and when you drive that, you're gonna hinge at the hip, and you're gonna drive it all the way to that eye level. Put it right there in that shoulder. Drive back on those squats, and then drive that right up overhead. I'll show you the next activity like that. I want you to think through that weight. I'm gonna do my 20 pound. I'm gonna do my right side first. Okay, let's get in position. Here we go. Three. Two, one, hinge down, drive it up, sit down, drive it over. It's gonna be a little bit of a flow, okay? You're gonna swing that right up and then drive it right to that shoulder. Sit back, push it up. Drive, 
Sit back and push. Oh yeah, come on, drive those hips. That activity is coming from that hip drive, okay? And you're swinging it right to that shoulder, sitting down and pressing over. 15 more seconds. Come on, you got this. We'll do the other side next round. And we've got four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna explode up and onto one side. If you don't wanna do one side, you're gonna explode up and you can go up onto that heel or you can just explode up onto those toes. Okay, touch down, explode up. See if you can do one side. Here we go, three, two, one. Sit down, explode onto one side. Squat down and drive. Squat down and drive. I'm sticking with that right side like I just worked. And you're gonna sit down and explode up both sides if you need to. See if you can drive that hip. Come on, drive it up and hop. Or explode up and hop on that, drive it up onto that toe. Let's go. 20 more seconds. As you get the pattern, see if you can go a little faster. 15 more seconds. This is it. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Now we got that left side swing to the shoulder. Go squat and press. Last weighted activity. Oh yeah. So here we go. Three, two, one. Drive, sit back and press. Press it up, baby. Now I could have done a little heavier, but I went a little lighter. Make sure I stayed with good form, because I need to be tired at the end. Come on, you're doing awesome. Sit back and press. Yeah, and press, come on, 20 more seconds. Oh yeah, we're doing awesome, come on. Hang in there. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this is it. You got the explosion, hop if you can, to one side, really push yourself. This is the push, this is challenging, I know. I also know you can do it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, we're down, and explode onto one side. Drive those arms, helps drive those hips in better positioning. Sit down and drive. This is it, come on. You can empty the tank here. We got cool down after this. Oh yeah. Halfway there. Stay strong, stay steady. Keep it up. You're doing great, you're doing great. Hang in there. You got this, 15 seconds left. Oh yeah, I see the finish line. And I'm driving towards it, literally. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's go into that runner's lunge. We're gonna keep that right, that heel down on the back. We're gonna drive our arms forward. Give me a nice good hip flexor stretch. Getting that calf stretched out. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna hinge down and we're gonna straighten that front knee. Now, some of your knees may be more bent than others, depending on your flexibility, but that's the direction we're moving. Woo wee. And then you're gonna drop that heel down, that knee down, I mean. Let's reach over to the side and get that hip flexor a little bit more. Oh, it gets so tight on us. Oh yeah, drive that forward. Woo, feeling good. Grab that foot, pull it back. Stretching out that quad. And then we're gonna pigeon that front side right here. Oh yeah, so we're pigeoning the other side. Keeping that other foot back, that leg back. And then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna do runner stretch on the other side. Pushing that heel down, driving forward. Woo, nice work. And then we're gonna come down 
We're gonna straighten that front knee and get that hamstring. Oh yeah. Keep breathing. Get that oxygen. Now drop that knee down. And you're going right over that knee and stretching that hip flexor. Drive that forward. Oh baby. And then you're gonna grab that foot. Stretch out that quad. Any of these stretches feel tight. Come back to them later. Let your body say, no, I need that stretch out a little bit more. And then we're gonna go right here. And we're gonna give you a nice good pigeon right here. Opening up that hip a little bit more in that glute. Oh yeah. Feeling good. And then we're gonna come back into downward dog. Press those heels down. Walk that on up. Hold that right here. Three, two, one. Walk that up. And give yourself a high five for rocking that. Don't forget to subscribe to the um, button below so that you get new workouts every weekday morning. Also, if you wanna be part of my Facebook group, that link is also below. Have a great day.